December 25th will mark the one year anniversary of a Christmas day Nicholas Close would like to forget. I know why I'm happy. Yeah, I'm going to talk to you in one second. We're just going to make sure everything's good. Nick and his girlfriend Sarah Matt rented a U-Haul in St. George, Utah to spend Christmas 2021 in Las Vegas with her family. But Nick and Sarah's father were arrested at this 7-Eleven on Boulder Highway where they'd stopped to gas up on their way to Christmas dinner. I got a phone call from Nick from jail saying that he was pulled over for stolen plates on a U-Haul that we just rented. The license plate number on Nick's contract did not match the plate on the truck, and the one on the truck had been reported stolen in California almost a year and a half prior. This is pure just negligence. Henderson police provided this body camera footage several months after our story aired in June. That I'm not sure of. They won't tell me that information. Why am I going to jail right now? Why? We already explained it to you. Because, because you have a warrant. warrant. Yes, I'm and because you were driving a vehicle that has a stolen license plate. We didn't put the stolen license plate. Why would we put a stolen license plate on a vehicle? I'm not going to argue with you guys. Why would we put a stolen license plate on a vehicle that's legal? Police records show the two men were charged with displaying a fictitious plate. Wrong place, wrong time, perfect storm. Attorney Michael Van helped Nick clear his record and get a settlement from U-Haul. In the process, U-Haul admitted to Nick that the wrong plate was on the truck and apologized for the unfortunate incident. How could they how could they allow things like this to happen? Fast forward to November when David Levine contacted 13 Investigates after finding our previous story online. Levine rented a U-Haul van at the office on Bonanza Road to move some furniture into his condo. He wound up under arrest for grand theft auto. There's something going on here and and I, they need to pull it together. Levine was arrested here in the high rise where he lives on Las Vegas Boulevard. The U-Haul that he rented was parked here in his assigned spot in the high rises parking garage, which was swarming with police on every floor, up and down stairwells, looking for the man who they thought was a thief. According to the police report, Metro responded to a stolen vehicle call after Levine's U-Haul was flagged by a license plate reader near Sahara and the 15. They tracked him to his building. I had to put my hands up and they cuffed me right away. I thought, I have no idea like, really what was going on, but they kept talking about this U-Haul. The events that led from rental to a felony grand larceny charge began with a paperwork mix-up when U-Haul gave Levine a contract with the wrong name. So that's the other yeah. customer's name. His name, my address. I don't know how that happens. Um, and then his phone number, my driver's license number, his email address. The contract also had the wrong terms. David had planned to keep the truck for several days. His cell phone logs show multiple calls with U-Haul to resolve the mix-up, which he thought he had. I called and I checked and they said, no, you can drive it, you can renew the contract. The company disputes that. No one from U-Haul would go on camera, but in a statement, they claimed Levine kept the van six days on a one-day rental, never paid for it, and ignored repeated requests to have the equipment returned. According to the police report, U-Haul told Metro an employee pulled the van to the front of the business and left the keys inside for Levine to take after completing the rental agreement, but they claim Levine had gotten upset about how long the rental contract was taking and stormed out of the business, then left in the van prior to completing a valid contract. Several days later, U-Haul reported the vehicle as stolen. In his statement to 13 Investigates, the Nevada Market Company president for U-Haul, Stephen Deutsch, says this situation was both regrettable and avoidable from both sides. So yeah, I went to jail for my first time and, and uh, spent 24 hours in there, I had to pay $5,000 bail, which I still haven't got back yet, I had to go to court. Uh, it's on my record right now, it could take up to three years for it to go away, it affects getting jobs. This text stream between David and Stephen Deutsch shows the company contacted Metro and arranged for the charges to be dropped. On December 6th, court records show the DA formally denied prosecution. I don't want anyone to experience what I experienced. No one should, um, and they should take accountability. Deutsch's statement to 13 Investigates says, upon my investigation of this situation, we moved immediately to drop the charges against Mr. Levine. It is clear mistakes were made by both parties that led to this unfortunate circumstance. 
We apologize to Mr. Levine for the error that our team made during the dispatch process and any confusion it caused. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.